John Palfreyman, nicknamed Snaggletooth. He rode for the famous Rick's Bike Shop team, and everyone he raced against knew who he was. The proudest thing for me is that when I still go on the scene, like at the next thing, everybody still remembers me more than any other competitor because I was pretty tough. You know, I never, I never take no prisoners at all. I always, I mean, if you had a problem on the track, we'd probably take each other out and then it went from there. Paul Freeman raced BMX when the sport was just beginning and his team was bent on creating faster and better bikes. I rode the first red line that was ever built and I built Mongoose, which I rode the first Mongoose. We were kind of the test riders for most of every bike that you'll see I put out today. The sport has changed so much in 40 years. For starters, it's in the Olympics, but the tracks they race on are nothing like the old days. Our tracks were a lot more uh, downhill than they are here now. Now it's pretty much flat courses. Most of them are made for stadiums. So like the Olympics in a stadium, obviously, but when I was a kid, we were going down big mountains at real high speeds. All those crazy downhill tracks and the lack of real prize money created a certain mentality in the racing then that Paul Freeman really excelled at. Back then, it, it was trophies and, and blood when we were racing, you know. This is, it's become such a huge sport, you know, big time names making millions of dollars. John left the sport in 1980 to race motorcycles because believe it or not, at the time, it was safer than the BMX courses. But in his short time, he became a legend of a sport that now spans the globe. In Medford, Joe Camerlinghi, NBC5 News.